Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to use the new Ducker feature in DaVinci Resolve Studio 19. This is gonna allow you to have an audio track duck or lower when triggered by another audio track. For example, here I have this music track, and whenever there's talking on this audio track, the music track will automatically lower. But when there are silent portions of the talking track, the music will go up to full volume. All right, so let me show you an example. Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. Best quick release plate system. The RS4 series, RS3 series, and you can do this without automation. It's actually very simple and it's gonna save a lot of time. Now here on the edit page, when you have a clip selected and you go to the inspector and the audio tab, you can make adjustments to certain parameters for that individual clip. However, the Ducker option works per track, not clip. So it'll affect any audio clips that are on that entire track. To get into the track options, we're gonna click here on the left small vertical rectangle that's to the left of the A and number. For me, audio two is my music track, so I'm gonna click right here, and then now you'll see here on the top right corner in the inspector under audio, you have your track options, your track parameters that you can adjust. Going to the bottom, you'll see Ducker, which I already have on. Now the first option is source, and here you choose the audio track that you want to be triggering the Ducker. For me, it's audio one, which is my dialogue from my video audio, and then you'll see duck level. Zero means that there is no ducking, and the music is gonna play at full volume the entire time. The more you increase it, that is the DB that's being lowered when there's audio coming in from the other track. The max you can do is 18 dB, which is normally what I do. Now it's important to know that the track with the ducker requires a certain amount of volume for ducking, as well as a certain amount of silence for the track to come back to full volume. So here I've lowered this part here all the way to pretty much zero dB. On DaVinci it says negative 100 dB, but that's pretty much mute. If I have it kind of low, the music will still go back up, but if I have a little bit of sound like here, even at negative 22 dB, which is pretty low, I can hear it today. I'm gonna show you guys what I think is the best you can hear that the track didn't come back to full volume. So when you want the track to full volume, you wanna make sure that you have completely silent parts. That's why I pretty much mute it all the way down to zero. Now back to the Ducker, we have advanced as well. We have four different parameters here. Look ahead, rise time, hold, and recovery. These essentially will help you adjust the fade in and fade out of the Ducker. You might use different settings for different videos. I like to make sure that I have a smooth in and out so it doesn't feel too abrupt. Again adjust these parameters to your liking as you hear it when you play it. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to use the Ducker feature in DaVinci Resolve Studio 19. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. On this channel, I also have a DaVinci Resolve playlist with a lot of other tutorials. So make sure to check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.